The wave of celebration sweeps westward across the time zones, over the mountains, and there below, the wondrous glow of the shimmering lights of Las Vegas. This is the entertainment capital's biggest night of the year, and you are about to experience a magical night of celebration across America. Tonight, live by satellite, the brilliant sky shows, enchanting performances, dazzling entertainment, on America's grand scale countdown spectacular, New Year's Live. Now, from Treasure Island in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, here are your hosts, Sarah Purcell and Jack Perkins. Hi, and welcome to New Year's Live. Welcome to that night we wait for all year long. And folks, we have a wonderful panorama of celebrations for you tonight from 10 different cities all across this nation. And we have our cameras positioned all over, in showrooms, in cranes high above the strip, in helicopters, all to capture the excitement of tonight, live. There are no more thrilling minutes in the year than those minutes immediately preceding midnight on New Year's Eve. And believe me, folks, you'll never see a more electrifying countdown spectacular than you're going to see right here tonight. And speaking of electrifying, Jack, we have excitement tonight in this town. Downtown Las Vegas is premiering its new marvelous attraction with a huge party where we'll find our special guest host tonight, none other than, and it fits, downtown Julie Brown. Hey, hi Jack and Sarah, <laughs> this is fantastic. Welcome everybody to this incredible Fremont Street experience. You know, this is the biggest, boldest thing that has ever happened here. It's an amazing $70 million transformation. It's unbelievable. Well, we hardly recognize Absolutely. downtown. Absolutely, it doesn't look the same. You got some crowd down there, Julie. You know what? A crowd. There's about 25,000 people here on the Fremont Street Mall, and I'm right here, so as you can see, smack in the middle of it. You know, a year ago, this was the brightest street in the world, and they added about 20 million more lights. And let me tell you, when they throw that switch, you're going to see the world's largest animated light extravaganza that you've ever ever seen before. We've got a whole lot more coming to your way right here from Fremont Street. But right now, let's check in with our other locations and go over to Seattle with Margaret. Julie, thanks a lot. There's so much excitement here in Seattle at the Space Needle, where the show promises to be bigger and better than ever. We have a crowd of about 25,000 people, but the numbers could go much higher because the weather's been so cooperative. A little bit chilly, but no rain. It is a clear, beautiful night to see this show. 1,100 fireworks charges are set all up and down the famous Space Needle, and I promise when that goes off, it looks like a Roman candle in the sky. It is something to see. We'll bring it all to you live just a little bit later on. Now to Terry McGovern in San Francisco. Hey, Terry McGovern coming to you live from the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Barcadero, San Francisco for the biggest bash in the Bay Area. Now event organizers, Bill Graham presents, Apple Computers say we got about 15,000 here at the stroke of midnight. 50,000 balloons are going to let loose, but the main focus of our party tonight is at the Fairy Clock Tower. We're at midnight, pyrotechnics, a laser show. Oh yeah, Bob Tolman in Reno. <laughs> Howdy, Terry. Thanks, Terry. This is Reno, Nevada. This is what it's all about. They're crazy. We're live. This is the biggest little city in the world. We're at the Buckin' Ball in the Reno Livestock Event Center. There's a capacity crowd in here. I can't hear myself think. Now, I've got rodeo. I've got country music. I've got a rodeo-style countdown surprise you can't believe. Right now, let's go to L.A. and Ross Schaefer. Thank you, Bob. Well, we are outside B.B. King's Blues Club in Hollywood. Come on inside. This, this beautiful tri-level uh, tri tiered nightclub is going to be hot tonight. Tremendous blues. Look at this band. Coco Montoya is going to be playing here. We have some celebrities who may drop in. Also, plenty of what Hollywood is known for. Beautiful people. In fact, too pretty to live anywhere else. Los Angeles live. Now to Julie Brown in downtown Las Vegas. Okay, well, I tell you what. This is just part. Celebrations you'll be enjoying tonight. Go see the, from the Fremont Street experience. We're also going to give you the history of this world-famous street. But you know what? 
This is the entertainment capital of the world. So Sarah and Jack, I think it's a night for some special entertainment. Let's hit the Las Vegas Strip. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> and tonight, folks, we have two of the biggest names in entertainment in this town, in this country. From the Mirage, the magical Siegfried and Roy, these two master illusionists appear and disappear twice nightly performing a spellbinding stage show to sold out audiences. Their extravaganza will break another Las Vegas stage show record next month when Siegfried and Roy celebrate their 15,000th live performance. They are phenomenal. Speaking of big cats, later tonight we will have an exclusive peek at some of the cutest little young cats, white lion cubs that you've ever seen when Sarah visits backstage with Siegfried and Roy. Oh boy, and Jack, am I looking forward to that. We have more for you only on New Year's Live. You'll see captivating highlights of Mystere, the new show from the enchanting Cirque du Soleil right here at Treasure Island. And we have a Cirque character standing by to give us a sneak peek at the live performance in progress. Sally? <laughs> The Cirque Show is a captivating experience and it is continually evolving. A little later we'll see more of Cirque, meet the newest member of the international cast and see his breathtaking performance. And you know, Sarah, I think we could say that we have our own kind of uh, flying daredevil tonight on this program and he is flying high above the Las Vegas Strip right, right out here, about 75 feet up, viewing all the action from the catbird seat Mr. Doug McConnell with our crane camera. Doug? Jack, I'll tell you what, I've got a little extra uh, work tonight. The wind is whipping out here across the uh, Nevada desert, 30 to 40 mile an hour gust, so we're kind of hanging onto our crane up here, Bobby, the photographer and I. But we don't care, because we've got the best view in the world of the world famous Las Vegas Strip, America's Main Street on New Year's Eve. Now last year, we had a record-breaking crowd out here, but I've got to tell you, we've got more people out here earlier than ever before. They are streaming out of the hotels and casinos that line this five-mile strip. As midnight comes, all eyes will be riveted over there on our New Year's live countdown clock, and uh, this place is going to be going wild. So as the crowd builds and the excitement builds, we'll be back with more live updates from high atop the Las Vegas Strip on New Year's Live. Coming up, Las Vegas' premier New Year's party from the new $70 million wonder on America's only live countdown spectacular, New Year's Live. This is the live shot of the New Year's crowd at Las Vegas' extraordinary new downtown attraction. That architectural canopy not only creates a frame for the Fremont Street of today, it is also, in a way, a time frame that showcases the colorful history of this wonderful street, Fremont Street. It has gone through a lot of remarkable evolution over the decades. It is quite a story. What would become the largest American city founded in the 20th century began on a remote railroad siding in the Mojave Desert. It was 1905. A rail car served as Las Vegas' first train station. Soon, a new mission-style depot welcomed travelers. As the town grew up around Fremont Street, saloons and gaming halls offered five-cent beer. 
In the 1930s, with gambling now legalized, the Depression seemed to skip over lucky Las Vegas. Just 40 miles away on the Colorado River, jobs were plentiful. Construction of Boulder Dam made Las Vegas a boom town. Newly popular electric signs appeared, attracting even more visitors to Fremont Street. When the Boulder Club erected a 40-foot high neon wonder, other clubs quickly followed, sparking a competition to see who could build the biggest and brightest sign in town. Through the 40s and 50s, Las Vegas' population soared and the signs along Fremont Street exploded with brilliance. The once wild west town had become Glitter Gulch, a symbol of action and excitement around the world. In September 1994, traffic rolled down Fremont Street for the last time. One era ended, and a new one began. Gigantic space frame panels were lifted into place, ushering in a remarkable transformation, a renaissance of this renowned American street. You know what is so amazing tonight, Jack? To think that only 90 years ago, there was nothing here but a railroad car sitting right at the end of the street, past all these wonderful people here. Once again, Las Vegas is boom time. This time they're calling it boom time for the millennium. Woo! But right now, let's get over to Reno, check in with the cowboy and the cowgirl, Bob Palmer. Well, thank you, Julie. I'll tell you what, right now, I've got a scene in a set coming for you right here from Boomtown. Boomtown is the gateway from California into the state of Nevada. Dean Calkins lives over in Fallon, Nevada, and he handles this beautiful stage. I'm gonna try to step out of the way right here. I've got a six-up hitch coming. And look here, Big Al, it's Richard Karn riding shotgun tonight. Richard, of course, from Home Improvement. I don't know if this is a safe place to step up here or not. What are you doing on this stage, Coach? I've got 100 honeydews I need done, and I need you at home on the ranch. You can't come help me. You've said always there is never anything that you can't get done. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to have Richard here tonight and his family and everybody that's sharing. Happy New Year's to you. Nice to have you. New Year. Shotgun into the New Year's with Dean Calkins. You're in good hands right there. Nice to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I want to talk to a cowboy that a couple of weeks ago at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas, let's get you around here on the right side, Toby Keith, it's nice to have you in Reno. Thanks, it's good to be here. You ready to bring the new year in? I'm ready to bring it in with your style. Did you see my driver up there, I guess? Well, yes, we're in good shape. I think he's uh, left home improvement, start celebrating earlier. We're going to have New Year's Eve in Reno, baby. All right, baby, Jack, take it away. We're ready to do it. <laughs> Joining us tonight on our broadcast is the man whose voice is known across the nation. He is America's premier track announcer and race caller. The man who thrills us with his yearly description of the Kentucky Derby from the Treasure Island Race and Sports Book. Here is Dave Thompson. Hey. Sarah, thank you. And as you can see tonight, this sports book has been transformed into Countdown Central. Yet, yeah, uh, Dave, I know that in that very room over the years, thousands of people have thrilled to listen to your voice calling races. But tonight, my friend, it's a different kind of race you call. <laughs> oh, you're right, Jack. Tonight, I'm going to be calling the second by second race with the clock to 1996, the climactic countdown to the midnight moment. Now, take a look. You see that big wall of monitors up there? Well, usually. They display sporting events from across the country, but tonight they're gonna display satellite-fed images, and our live cameras are gonna be put up there, positioned at all of our New Year's live celebration sites. In fact, you know, tonight we're gonna be using more cameras than the Super Bowl, and we're gonna switch from city to city and show you all of the sky shows and the pageantry and the amazing crowds of revelers. And then, in the climactic moments here at Buccaneer Bay, the HMS Britannia will sail in to fire the cannon that will mark the final 10 seconds of the year and set off the grandest pyrotechnic spectacle in the nation. This is the big one. It's the only place that you can see this electrifying thrill from America's grand scale countdown. You can bet on one thing, we've got a winner for you tonight. Our countdown spectacular, an unforgettable three minutes you won't want to miss. 
We'll be right back to take you inside the hottest blues club in Los Angeles. And we're going to be checking in with the preparations in Seattle and San Francisco, all on New Year's Live. From everyone here at News 3, happy holidays. You're watching New Year's Live. Here again in Las Vegas with all the fun are Sarah Purcell and Jack Perkins. Oh, and we are ready to switch to Los Angeles now and check out the fun at BB King's Blues Club where Ross Schaefer is standing by. Ross? We're so excited. Look, I'm standing in front of Lucille, BB King's guitar that was named after a woman who started a bar fight and he survived it. He always uh, loved that guitar. Now look at this. This is amazing. All of these women are named Lucille. Can you believe this? Look at you are Lucille from where? I'm Lucille from Hawaii. Oh, from Hawaii. Look at this. You are from where? New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. And from where? Memphis, Tennessee. Ah, oh, she's an accountant from Memphis. Now, I also want you to meet, where is it, Reggie? Oh, look at this. Now, this is Reggie Qualls. Reggie, come over here, man. Re oh, hey. Reggie is the house MC, and this is one of the hottest clubs in Los Angeles. Who Absolutely, comes in here? Absolutely, baby. Uh, my good friend Bobby Brown. Um, we're talking about things that David Hasselhoff, Lou Rawls. Um, uh, just so many people, it's hard to name yeah. them all. Robin Gibbons, you said, Robin comes in Gibbons here. Robin Gibbons comes in. Mick Jagger's over there. Unbelievable, Mick. Come on over here for a second. Stones in Memphis on, on B.B. King's uh, Blues Club down there. But, yeah, all those guys come in here. Yeah, well, we, he put on a great show. You missed that little part. It's some finger-licking ribs, man. Oh, I know they got great food here. Thanks to all of you, uh, <laughs> Lucille's. <The base. laughs> all right, we have to go to Margaret Larson in Seattle. Ross, thanks so much. It's very strange. We have this huge crowd here and not a single person named Lucille, so near as I know. We're looking forward to a terrific show tonight. The Space Needle, as you know, was built for the 1962 World's Fair. It's been around for a long time, and for a very long time had a gas torch on top of it, like a giant birthday candle. But tonight, it is a Roman candle. Huge fireworks display set for midnight tonight. There are 1,100 fireworks charges. A clear night, we should be able to see all kinds of things. Now, last year, there were about 15 different colors of fireworks, but this year, more than 30. And there are people all over town who are getting ready to shine their car lights and their flashlights on the Space Needle before this show goes off just at midnight. We're not quite sure how that's going to work or why that's thought to be something that would actually shine on the Space Needle, but it's certainly going to light up the hills and the neighborhoods around here, and we absolutely cannot wait. It promises to be a spectacular show. Midnight magic. Let's go now to Terry McGovern, who's down at the huge New Year's Eve party in San Francisco. Terry. Hey, Mark, let me tell you something. We are here live at the Embarcadero in San Francisco, beautiful Hyatt Regency Hotel. We're going to meet some of my friends around here. First of all, as we get ready, uh, as midnight approaches, we're going to take a little sneak peek. We're going to look at the base of the ferry building where Mike Morris and his crazed group of pyromaniacs are preparing the wild laser and fireworks show. It is going to be absolutely amazing. All the stuff's going to be uh, uh, firing and going and lighting up the sky just a few minutes before midnight. It is going to be one of the most spectacular fireworks shows you have ever seen in your life. Now, speaking of fireworks, there's a whole different kind of pyrotechnics going on right here. And you're going to meet these folks in just a minute. But I do want to remind you that, you know, the Bay Area is the hotbed of technology. We're on the cutting edge. Apple Computers has made available. They want to let you know they're one of the sponsors of this event that you can watch this craziness on the World Wide Web. That's right, you can go surfing on the net and check us out. Here's the address, www.live.apple.com. Now, my friends, look at my friends. They're all from Escola Nova de Samba, and they are gonna do it for us. Where is Christina? Hi, Christina, how Hi, are you? Hi, how are you doing, Terry? Tell me a little bit about what you're gonna do here tonight. Everything. <laughs> what am I asking her? You're gonna see what they're gonna do here tonight. Uh, they're going to samba for you. Now, yes. wh where do you got? Where are you guys from? Well, we're over local. We're from all over the place. You're from all over the place, yeah. mostly Brazilian. Are any Brazilians here? Sure, we've always got Brazilians. Let me ask always. you something, dear. Have you ever gained an ounce in your life? I don't Never. think you've ever quit Never. dancing, have you? <laughs> all right, we're going to let these guys go. Let the drummers rip. We're going to continue here with more New Year's Live, from San Francisco, from all over the place. You keep it tuned, and uh, shall we samba? Come on, man, let's samba out of here. Yeah, let's do it. More New Year's Live coming up. Don't go away.
We are outside Treasure Island. Right now, inside Treasure Island, there are 1,500, I think, very lucky people who are in the audience for a special New Year's Eve performance of Mystere. That is the wonderful Cirque du Soleil show. The people there are enjoying performances by an international cast of artists, including the newest addition to this ever-changing Cirque show. Here he is, the dazzling Mikhail Matorin. As the Cirque performance continues, we're closing in on our final countdown. The excitement building as preparations escalate at all our locations. Here in Las Vegas, on board the ships in Buccaneer Bay, pyrotechnic crews are in the final stages of loading the charges and the cannons that will explode with brilliant fireballs to mark the last 10 seconds of 1995. High above Cirque du Soleil and the catwalks 80 feet over the audience, the stage crew moving into position where teams will load hundreds of pounds of confetti into cannons to be fired in volleys one after another out over the theater, creating a cascade of colors that will shower down in a sparkling show that will thrill the audience below. On the Las Vegas Strip, the crowd has come from around the world to be part of this incredible scene. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, every second bringing us closer and closer to the spectacle. We're in the final stretch, approaching the magical moment. The countdown is coming. We're high above the world-famous Las Vegas Strip where an immense crowd of revelers, 100,000 and more, is gathering to be part of this phenomenal New Year's celebration live from Las Vegas. Well, this is the scene at the town's newest sensation. <laughs> the Fremont Street Experience, and we're here to celebrate the first New Year tonight, live from Las Vegas. Woo! Hi, everybody, from the Space Needle, where 25,000 people are dancing and rocking and waiting for the biggest pyrotechnic show in the country tonight, live from Seattle. Hey, we got the big one. We got the big one coming to you from San Francisco, seven blocks long, along the Embarcadero. It is live from San Francisco, am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Howdy, everybody. We're live from Reno. This is the bucket ball in the biggest little city in the world. We've got cowboys, country music, and people, thousands of them all over the place. We're ready. Uh, we are in the middle of a great party here at B.B. King's Blues Club in Hollywood. You're sitting there comfortable at home watching the show. I'm here dancing with Jana. We are live from Los Angeles. And we're here in Countdown Control to launch the most electrifying thrill a second race with the clock to the magical midnight moment. This is America's Countdown Spectacular, and it's all happening live. Right. 
Tonight, live by satellite, the brilliant sky shows, enchanting performances, dazzling entertainment on America's grand scale countdown spectacular, New Year's Live. Now, from Treasure Island in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, here are your hosts, Sarah Purcell and Jack Perkins. Welcome to the biggest party night of the year. <laughs> and this is the biggest broadcast of New Year's Eve. We're going to be taking you to celebrations not only all over the West, but all over the United States. We're going to give you three glorious pyrotechnic shows to light up the skies. Great entertainment from Siegfried and Roy and Cirque du Soleil. And Jack, there are about a half a million people at our various celebration locations that are going to be part of the most incredible midnight countdown that we've ever broadcast. And to add to the excitement, tonight is the grand premiere of the new $70 million, they call it the Fremont Street Experience in downtown Las Vegas, where we welcome our special guest host for the evening, downtown Julie Brown. Hi, Julie. How you doing? We are having so much fun tonight. <laughs> you know, Jack, this feels like Mardi Gras and Carnival rolled into one. It's crazy. But this is the dazzling Fremont Street Experience, the new musty attraction that has transformed downtown into this fabulous scene tonight. I mean, check this out. There's so many New Year revelers jamming it. It's unbelievable. And you know what? This is the world's most famous street of neon signs. And what I love about it is the new canopy frames and the eye-popping signs creating its own sort of, you know, gallery for this legendary art form using every color of the rainbow, millions and millions of light sparkle, bubble, and burst. And that's only, only the beginning. In fact, you know what? I'm looking at it right now and it's almost edible. It's so exciting, isn't it, guys? Yes, it is. Check out all these lights. You know, there's 2.1 million lights up there. I counted every single last one of them. It took me forever. But I tell you what, when they flick that switch, it's going to be a light show that's going to thrill us all, and you won't want to miss it. Right now, back to Jack and Sarah. You <laughs> counted them all, huh? What a trooper. Huh? Yeah. Huh? You know, every showroom in this town is, of course, sold out on New Year's Eve. But we're going to sneak you into what is absolutely one of the best shows of all in this town. Exclusively on New Year's Live, the extraordinary stage show of Siegfried and Roy, legends of the entertainment capital. Once you see their show in person, you will never forget it. These two master illusionists elevate the art of magic into epic entertainment. Later in our show, we'll have a special backstage appearance with Siegfried and Roy, who will show us two of the cutest little white lion cubs you have ever seen. Oh, and Jack, I can't wait for that. I really can't. But right now, we want to take time to check in at the party at BB King's Blues Club in Los Angeles with Ross Schaefer. Ross! They're cutting our time, so we'll make the interview short. We'll get right to the bill. Oh, look at this. We are an amazing party here at BBK's. I'm here with Coco Montoya, who you've been hearing. You're, you're so hot. You got to tell them about the album that's out. Oh, gotta mind to travel. Gotta oh, mind to travel. Everybody's having a great time here. It has always been a dream of mine to uh, play the guitar with a, with a blues band. Can I, can I play with you guys? Yeah, come on. All right, oh, here we go, here we go. I got, I got the shades. All right. I kick it off, me and Coco Montoya. <laughs> Okay, all right. Jack, um, Steve Porter, our stage manager, is telling me that it's time for me to go on to Cirque du Soleil, okay? Okay, I know right. you've got work to do there. Well, as we say farewell to you, let us say hello to a man whose riveting calls of horse races over the years have thrilled millions, including the Kentucky Derby. He is America's premier race announcer, and tonight you are gonna hear him calling a very special kind of race, our countdown spectacular, 
for the first time, Dave Johnson. Thanks very much, Jack. Hey, these folks have a terrific view of the sea battle that they put on five times a night right here in Buccaneer Bay. But come on with me. I think you're going to enjoy this. I want to show you where my home base is tonight. You know, they say the Treasure Island is an adventure resort. Well, we got an adventure coming up for you. What we're doing is right now we're coming into the race and sports book here at Treasure Island. And tonight, it has been transformed into our command control for our countdown spectacular. Now, those monitors up there, they're going to display the live satellite pictures from our eight different New Year's Live countdown locations. And in just 20 minutes, I'm going to be calling the second by section action as we thrill to all the pyrotechnics and the pageantry and the spectacle and the sky show with hundreds of thousands of New Year's revelers joining in our final countdown. You know, they call the Kentucky Derby the most exciting two minutes in sports. Well, tonight you're going to experience the most exciting three minutes of the year as we set off America's countdown spectacular from right here. It promises to be an unforgettable pulse quickening race with the clock to 1996. So we want you to stay with us. We'll be right back with performances from Cirque du Soleil and so much more excitement right here on New Year's Live. Across the time zones and across the country, you're watching America's only countdown spectacular, New Year's Live. I'm backstage at Cirque du Soleil watching Mikhail, Misha, Torin twirl his magical cube. My gosh, this is a wonderful act that you do. Hey. You've been, uh, you, you come from a, a legendary circus family. Your father was the director of the Moscow Circus. You've been in the circus your whole life. Yeah, actually. I was born in circus. I'm still in. And your father's an acrobat, and I know that you have been... I am sorry, Misha, and I'm sorry, Sarah. We've got some technical problems with our feed there from that. But we'll, if we can, get back to it at the moment. Uh, let's switch to San Francisco. Okay, and Terry McGovern. Terry, take it away for us, my well, man. You. Yeah. We're standing. Stand by for what? Use the headset. You're hot. Go. All righty. Hey, thank you very much, Jack. The party is jumping here in San Francisco. Uh, this uh, woman back here, for those of you from San Francisco, you will re recognize her. That's Laughing Sal. She used to be out at Playland Amusement Park. And uh, Sal, cheer up, will you, a little bit? Here's a guy I asked him for a light a couple of minutes ago. Let's see you do your stuff, pal. Yeah, watch this, okay? You think you have heartburn? Watch this poor guy. I am, oh, God, please, sir. Try to get over that, okay? When he has acid flashbacks, it's acid indigestion. Now, over here... We have a tarot card. Excellent. Am I saying that right, tarot card? Uh, pardon me, but my, this is the only mic that's working. You have to speak into my face, dear. Let me see if I can pick a card. Okay. Tell me what it is. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You cheated. She looked at that. I saw her. All right. Now, somebody, this is great. Come here. Let me get in between these two kids. Let me get in here. You want to say something to him. Say it into my headset. Right there. Say it to him. Come on. Hi. I thought you were going to propose to him. You're not going to propose to him? Oh. I had a romance, a marriage in the making here, Margaret, and it fell apart on New Year's Eve. I'm going to see if I can patch this up, okay? We go to the Fairy Clock Tower for midnight. Right now, we go to Margaret Larson in Seattle. Terry, thanks very much. We're doing a little science experiment here. We wanted to show you how this pyrotechnic show is going to work tonight. The crowd's all pumped about this because the Space Needle makes for one spectacular sight with this fireworks show. The very top of the Space Needle is covered with 12 positions of fireworks that are all set to go off at midnight. Also, the legs of the Space Needle all up and down this area, 500 feet, charges set on three legs all the way up. 
the elevator will begin ascending about 90 seconds before midnight and as it goes up it sets off the charges all along the legs and the top of the of the space needle then about three minutes into the show for a crescendo all of this computer operated and synchronized to music 100 charges go off at once it is something to see there was a rehearsal just a few days ago and it was spectacular. If tonight's show is anything like that, we are going to see an incredible display tonight. Now let's go to Reno and Bob Tolman. Bob? Howdy, everybody. We are in Reno. This is live. We are at the Bucket Ball. I'm talking about the richest New Year's Eve rodeo any place in the country. With me right now from all across the United States, I've got the greatest champion cowboys in the world. And I want to start it off with a world champion. This is Billy Etbauer from Goodwill, Oklahoma. Not just a new pistol, not just another check, but a great night, Bill. Yeah, really good. And, uh, just a happy news day. New Year's Day, everybody. Are you having any fun? Oh, yeah. Dude, a lot of fun. Now, this guy over here to the left is one of my partners. We, they're call us. What do they call us? Oh, the Oral Roberts from Reno. How about a deal, huh? Bob Feist has been a partner of mine for a long time, and we announced a Reno Rodeo together in a bucket ball right here. I want you to come with me to Kildare, North Dakota. This is Dale Kling. He says that he doesn't like to talk very much, but tonight in the bareback ride, you didn't have to talk, son. You were 87 points, and you were phenomenal. Well, it's a, it's a big, big high point in my career, and I'm sure happy to be here. Happy New Year to anybody at home. Happy New Year to everybody out there. All right, that's the way it is. Buddy Reed comes from Stephenville, Texas. You rode a bull tonight that fucked you off once. You rode once, you rode him again. You get the check, you get the pistol, and you got the girl. Yeah, Bob, I had that bull twice. I was 84 on him once, and he stuck my head in the dirt the second time. I knew I was gonna have my hands full, but everything worked out good. I'll tell you what, neighbor, it's a pleasure to have you here. Excuse me. Hey, hey, nice ears. What are you doing? Who are you, Donnie Landis? Oh, man, give me back my oh, nose. Sorry, here. It's New Year's. I need to blow something. Ladies and gentlemen, Donnie Landis is the greatest guy in the world for Rodeo Clown. Right now, we're going back to Las Vegas and Julie. Take it away. Wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bob. You better do it at the fucking ball. You're having a good time, I hope. Well, listen, we're just just a little over 40 minutes away from kicking off the most electrifying countdown you've ever experienced. This crowd is ready for it. All the other countdowns are just decaf. Our countdown is a double espresso, so be there or be square. Coming up, we'll see how five different cities celebrated their midnight moments. Stay with us. We're bouncing around in some 40 mile an hour winds off the desert tonight, but we're hanging on because it's worth it. Look at this view out here. A sea of humanity as far as the eye can see. Past Treasure Island, past the Mirage. Eyes riveted right now on our New Year's countdown clock. About 20, 10, 24 left before the New Year. And that Buccaneer Bay right across the way from me over here. The ship's crews will fire a 10 cannon barrage as we get close to midnight. In the final seconds, the skies are going to be lighting up here. The crowd here is going to go absolutely wild. We'll be hanging on for all it's worth. And Jack, I know you're feeling excited for you are too. <laughs> Doug, I'd say it's about an 8.5 on the Richter down here. You betcha. Uh, we've got 10 minutes to go, folks. So let us, though, take you back for just a moment and show you how, in time zones across this country, New Year's has already arrived in the, others, in the other parts of our land. For example, it was New York City, the classic, the tradition, for a hundred, uh, well, 
the better part of 100 years they've been doing this, dropping the ball at Times Square. This one a little higher tech, lighted by lasers and lowered by computer control. But the crowd loving it as always. Mellow night in New York and a good crowd in Times Square. There was a blackout here once during the war, but there sure wasn't tonight. In Atlanta, happy Virginia Cavalier fans celebrated their Peach Bowl victory yesterday, along with the arrival of 1996. At that area called Underground Atlanta, a huge crowd enjoying the annual dropping of the Big Peach. Then, an hour later in the central time zone, New Orleans, where the Mississippi Riverboat whistles and the bells of St. Louis Cathedral welcome the new year. And what a grand welcome that city can give it. That city rocks all the time, and especially on New Year's Eve in historic Jackson Square. Then, the mountain time zone, Denver, their first night celebration moved to Elitch Gardens Amusement Park this year, and the crowd enjoyed New Year's fireworks over festival grounds. And now it is our turn as we get ready to celebrate New Year's live all across the West. And we are back again live at Buccaneer Bay in Las Vegas outside Treasure Island. Quickly now to Countdown Control, let's check in with Dave Johnson. David. Jack, we're just about eight minutes away from launching the most pulse-pinding countdowns ever produced. All of the sky shows and the pageantries are a go. And across the USA, everyone is anticipating the most electrifying minutes of the year. And the tremendous crowds at all of our locations are reaching their peak. The excitement escalating and the seconds tick away as we approach the starting line for our countdown spectacular on New Year's Live. So stay right where you are. We got more coming up. Wishing you and your family the best of holidays. It takes a lot of complex logistics to get ready for the kind of countdown spectacular you're about to see, and I think we are about ready. We just have time now for one final whip around our remote locations. Where should we see? Seattle? Margaret Larson it is. We just checked with the producer, Alberto Navarro, who originated this pyrotechnics display that we're about to see. He says everything is a go. The timing devices, the fuses, the crowd is going nuts waiting for this thing. It's going to be a great display. Now to San Francisco and Terry. All right, Margaret, thank you very much. People are coming out of all the major events here in San Francisco to take a look at the ferry building. The ferry building. since before the 1906 earthquake. And now to Reno and Bob Tolman. Howdy, everybody. We're in Reno and we're live. In just a minute, the bucket ball is going to transform into love. There's love all around me. Everybody's doing it. The pyrotechnic crew is working right now in the biggest little city in the world. Hang on. Oh, I don't know what happened, Bob. Ever since I played the guitar, this has been happening to me. Uh, that is Veronica and Julie, Tabby, I like the cat, and uh, up there is Sandra R.A. Look at this, we're at the Blues Club at B.B. King's. Everybody's having a wonderful time. We're going to go to downtown Julie Brown in Las Vegas. But I tell you what, these landmark neon-lit streets may have lit Fremont Street's past, but the $2.1 million light show is going to light up Fremont Street's future. But right now, let's go to the strip with Doug. Help me! Help! <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know if you can hear me above the deafening roar of this crowd. I have never seen a crowd like this in my life. But the time is coming now. We've all been waiting for it. As this countdown kicks away, close to three minutes, let's go now to that unforgettable voice of the world's most famous horse race. Let's go now to the final electrifying call to the final race to 1996. Let's go right now to Dave Johnson. Take it away. And here we go. Fasten your seat belts. We're at the starting gate for the most thrilling three minutes of the year. And here it comes, sailing into Buccaneer Bay. It's the Britannia to get ready to deliver the cannon shots that will signal the final 10 seconds of our countdown to the year. And there we are in Reno. And the crowd at their feet. And here's Reno's own team flag rider on her quarter horse. And here she comes. She's going to bring the flare in. 
She's going to be riding up to the pyrotechnic crew, waiting at the Reno Arch. They're going to take the handoff. They're going to begin to light the fuses as soon as they get the flare. That'll be the cue. The rockets will ignite, and the arch will begin to rise higher and higher above the arena, above the crowd. And here we are, the scene downtown Las Vegas, the Fremont Street Experience. What a feeling of excitement for that crowd, witnessing the very first New Year's light show in this marvelous two million lights. And here we are at Cirque du Soleil, the Tycho Drum Troupe. And their drum countdown, second by second, beat by beat, while high above the Cirque stage, 80 feet up in the catwalk, the stage crew climbing higher and higher their positions where they'll be firing that confetti cannon to create an incredible New Year's cascade to the audience below. And to San Francisco, with two minutes, all less than two to go, they're starting to light, light up the landmark ferry building with lasers and pyrotechnics, but all eyes are on the giant hands of the clock, ticking away the final seconds. 148, 147. 145. And there is the blimp above us all with one minute and 38 seconds to 1996. And the entire cast on stage at Siegfried and Roy showroom, the capacity audience watching, joining into our countdown on a giant screen there. Hi, everybody. And look at the incredible scene in Las Vegas here on the Strip. The crowd going absolutely wild. And in San Francisco, the historic ferry building coming alive as never before. Silver bursts exploding off the clock tower, moving up the sides every second, closer and closer to midnight. One minute and seven seconds. And in Seattle, there it goes! The elevator on Seattle Space Needle beginning its descent, beginning ready to go to the top. And above us all, 57. And the wonder-filled moment for everyone, the unforgettable spectacle reflected in the crowd faces. And in Seattle, the Space Needle, the elevator, climbing higher and higher. They're shooting comets off the side, hundreds of feet high. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what a thrilling sight, the explosion, the crowd going wild. And down the stretch we come. The final explosive seconds of 1995 are upon us. 30, 29, 28, and here it comes. Britannia, ready to fire the explosive cannon barrage for the climactic 10 seconds, blasting us all into 1996. Hold on, everybody. It's the home stretch. Reaching for the finish line. Here it comes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Count with us. Here we go. 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year!
once again we have welcomed in a new year with that special kind of excitement that we don't see in any other holiday. Why? I think it's very simple. I think because every other holiday in the year is a day for looking back at our nation's history, our presidents, our wars. Only this holiday is a day for looking forward. Back are memories, but forward is promise. And there's nothing more exciting than that. So we have ended one countdown, but we've begun a lot of others. There are a lot of things coming up eagerly anticipated in the coming days. For example, America's Summer Olympics in, the, in Atlanta. In just 200 days from now, we elect a president. In just 310 days, our 1997 broadcast of New Year's Live is 364, three, make it 365 days. We got a leap year. And the new millennium in just 1,462 days. But we have excitement for you much closer at hand. Some special surprises coming up. We're going to be going back downtown and enjoy some of that spectacular light and sound show from the Fremont Street experience with downtown Julie Brown. And folks, you will not want to miss the first appearance of... I don't have to say anything. Look at those faces. You don't want to miss that. Stay with us. Happy holidays from the News 3 investigators. We want to see some more of that eye-popping light display in Fremont Street. But first, if we may, an instant re an almost instant replay of that magical moment when we all greeted 1996 together. San Francisco, the historic ferry building coming alive as never before. Silver bursts exploding off the clock tower, moving up the sides every second closer and closer to midnight. One minute and seven seconds. And in Seattle, there it goes! The elevator on Seattle Space Needle beginning its descent, beginning ready to go to the top and above us all, 57. And the wonder-filled moment for everyone, the unforgettable spectacle reflected in the crowd faces. And in Seattle, the Space Needle, the elevator climbing higher and higher, they're shooting comets off the side, hundreds of feet high. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what a thrilling sight, the explosion, the crowd going wild, and down the stretch we come. The final explosive seconds of 1995 are upon us. 30, 29, 28, and here it comes, the Britannia ready to fire the explosive cannon barrage for the climactic 10 seconds, blasting us all into 1996. Hold on, everybody. It's the home stretch. Reaching for the finish line. Here it comes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Count with us. Here we go. 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! And now, get ready, we're going back downtown to the shy and retiring Miss Julie Brown. Oh, not shy tonight, Jack, not on New Year's Eve, but I hope you're ready to get switched on, because this is what it looked like when we switched on the very first New Year's Light and Sound Show, right here at the Fremont Street Experience. Get off my hair. Go! <laughs>
with Siegfried and Roy with their new White Lion Cubs. Woo! So exciting. Sarah Purcell is on stage now with two of the legendary names of Las Vegas entertainment. And they always have some special treats for us on this program. Here is Sarah with Siegfried and Roy. Thank you, Jack. We're backstage now, and the celebration is continuing on stage, but look who I'm standing here yes. with, Siegfried and Roy, and the three new members of their conservation effort. These, this is Secret, Mystery, and Hope, right? That's exactly, exactly. right. Yes. And, of course, we've been known for the white tigers, but this are white lions. These are the white lions of Timbavati, and there's only a handful still in existence, and we have now five of them, and it's our new quest for the new year, 1996, to make the white lions of Timbavati reappear. Now, before we came, uh, you came to us, um, Roy was telling me that <laughs> these are lions, not tigers, and I'm curious to know, what is the difference for you? You have 33 white tigers. That's right. What is the difference for you now right. having lions? First of all, when we started 15 years ago with the white tigers, there was only a handful, and now we have 38 white tigers, and uh, the same thing happens with the white lions. There is only a handful of them, and hopefully in a few years, we're going to have achieved the same thing. Uh, well, one thing I have to say, in South Africa, the sight of a white lion, that means to represent the goodness in the mankind. So, what better you can start a new year, you know? And Maybe see the goodness in mankind, that's right. That's the right. war and the hunger, and uh, we're going to raise the goodness of the mankind. It's right here. Will any of the lions that you raise here be returned to Timbavati? Well, that's the plan, eventually. Maybe it's not happened to our lifetime because there are only a few around and we have to make sure they're first are preserved. And we are very successful right here at the Mirage. We're going to do a planning center and a breeding center. And uh, wish us luck. The new year is going to be very exciting. It's going to be a new goal. And we like to share it with everybody. Have a magical and a happy, happy new year. Oh, that is yes. so wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for sharing you. them with us. I wish I could pet them. I wish yes, I could nuzzle can. them. But they, yes. they do have yes. teeth and they do have paws. Oh, my. All right. Thank you. But you could pet me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> happy new year happy to you new both. Year. We're going to go to year, Ross Schaefer in Los happy Angeles. Bye -bye. Ross. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Terry. You know, there are about a thousand people here at BB King's Blues Club enjoying this. And I have to be on the second tier right now. John, who is mixing the uh, show here for us. And, uh, John, you listen to these guys every night, and they still cook. Say what? John. Oh, I went. Now, see what some of the women here wear. Oh, come over here. Look at this. Siegfried and Roy have nothing on these. Take a look at that. You do? Uh, no. T tell America your name. My name is Stacy. You are? That's all they have here in, in Southern California, our Blossom. We're oh, look at the bands. There we go. Look at that. It's Coco Montoya down there. We are having a fabulous time here live in Hollywood from B.B. King's Blues Club. And there are going to be lots more fun and surprises on New Year's Live. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah. Yes. Hey, all right. We are tell you. What a party. We just were able to get ourselves back in here to the uh, Hyatt Regency and the Embarcadero because outside it is such a madhouse. What happened was at the stroke of midnight, all the pyrotechnics cut loose, the fireworks, the laser show, pandemonium, and also those 50,000 balloons that cut loose from the uh, ceiling of the Hyatt Regency. And in the midst of all the mayhem, my good buddy, Johnny Steele, one of the great comics of the Bay Area. Johnny, Hi, Happy Jack. New Year. Happy New Year, I don't even, I can't hear a thing. I can barely hear. <laughs> Just agree with me. Let's say, how are you? Yes, Terry, We're having great. A great show. Funny man. Check him out next time you get a chance to see Johnny Steele. By all means, do it. Now, let me tell you, I want to ask you, what was it like trying to do comedy with a group like the one we have as behind us tonight? Unbelievable. The floor is bouncing. The ceiling is bouncing. I was over at the uh, tent to see Santana, and I had to come back 25, 30 minutes. I think everybody from Los Gatos up is going north to see Santana tonight. <laughs> That's right. Santana, as a matter of fact, is underway now as part of this uh, party. It's been great. 15 to 20,000 people is the estimate. John Steele, we made it, man. We will remember the One beginning of 96 for a long time to come. We hope you will, too. We hope it's a safe one for you, and we hope you keep on partying with us, okay? Because it does continue, and it's all part of New Year's Live. We're going to go to a break right now, but don't go away. There is more New Year's Live. Johnny, say happy 1996. Happy 1996. Hi, Mom. <laughs>
Hi, Mom. We're setting the stage now for Steve Wynn, the master visionary, who once again, as he has done so many times in this town, is about to elevate the excitement of this place to a whole new level. We'll be talking with him. But first, let's check once last, one last time with Margaret Larson up in Seattle. Margaret, that was one heck of a show you put on up there. Jack, it was something else, wasn't it? The crowd is still rocking because this was possibly the best fireworks show we have ever had at the Space Needle, a very elegant, really interesting program great music and it was something else to see so people are a little bit slow in leaving tonight turns out the final count 45,000 people here at the space needle tonight we've been very very happy to host this part of the show so good night from seattle and on to bob tallman in reno all the love in the world is in reno nevada tonight and we are live this is the way it is Well, I'll tell you what, this has been one of the most incredible nights of my life. This crowd, we had a record-breaking crowd last year. Well, this year the crowd dwarfed it. They don't want to go home, but there they are, gradually going inside the big hotels. We'll go inside, too, to celebrate with Sarah Purcell. Sarah? Thanks, Doug. I am standing here with two... Well, two of my favorite people, I have to say. The chairman of the board of Mirage Resorts and his incredible wife, Elaine. Absolutely. Hi, and Happy New Year to both of you. Happy New Year to you, Sarah. Sarah. I'll tell you, it's going to be a nice custom. It sure is. Saying happy We're new year to you. Yeah, it, so it is. Much. It's great. Now, 1996 is bringing a wonderful new dream for both of you, Bellagio. It's under construction. Tell us about it. <sighs> well, it took it <laughs> took us start? it took us just under two years to design it, and I guess somewhere, sometime, someone had to build the nicest hotel in the world, and it would be in a place. Somebody had to do it. <laughs> someone there. had to do it, so Who we decided it? we would do it. <laughs> And its idea is it's going to be the most romantic and lovely place. And it's built around a lake with the buildings on a hillside. We had all that wonderful property from the old Dunes Hotel uh -huh. and uh, some water rights. And it looks like a combination of villas around Lake Como. And, and there really is a little city called, or a little town, a little village called Lake Bellagio. Como, Bellagio, right. And, it, and the translation means an elegant place of relaxation. Hello. Which seemed like a perfect name for the place. It sounds like it to me. We'll be too. showing everybody. It's under construction for about three months already, and it has about 24. We hope to have you there for New Year's Eve after next. <gasps> Fantastic. That's what we'll, we'll, we'll kick off that hotel with you on New Year's Eve and take a good look at it then. And you're talking about a five star hotel. That's no small thing. There feat. never has been one this size built that way. And uh, fortunately, it's, you know, life has been good to us in Las Vegas. The company has the resources to mount a project of a billion one or a billion two. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and we have a piece of property. That's and a it's in a favorite. city. It's in one of those cities. I mean, if you were going to build a hotel like this, it would have to be in one of the great destination resort cities of the world, like London or New York or Las Vegas or Orlando or perhaps Hong Kong. And here we are with a piece of property and the company with some experience and a lot of desire, and we're going to give it a roll. Oh, fantastic. And Elaine, I know you're so excited, and a big part of it being on the board of directors yourself. Thank you, Sarah. She did a great job on it's going to be party fun. tonight. It's she oh. gave her a touch. I have to say that Las Vegas is the most dynamic, extraordinary place in America, if not the world, and everybody is discovering what we've known for 25 years. Fast, right. And fastest growing, too. Happy New Year! And there's magic in Las Vegas. And magic <laughs> at the Mirage. Happy New Year, everybody. New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year! And we're going to go to downtown Julie Brown now. Julie, bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Well, i got to tell you, I am partied out. So here I am at the Golden Nugget Hotel's fabulous spa. I'm going to start the new year off right by pampering myself. But i got to tell you, I had a great time tonight with all of my friends at the Fremont Street Experience, and I hope you did too. So, oh, pamper me. <sighs> Good night, Jack. Oh, thank you, Julie. <laughs> Dave Johnson is joining me, and I'm delighted he is because it gives me a chance to say, sir, that was one heck of a call you gave to it our special was race. A fun race. Just think of how much fun it's going to be now to race to 1997, Jack. Absolutely. And all the way to the millennium. That's only four years away. And, you know, those four years could prove to be for the most fascinating, exciting years this planet has ever known. Thanks for your being with us, 
Thanks for your being with us. And we would say... Happy New Year and the best is yet to come. Good night, everybody. New Year's Live has been brought to you by MCI's Friends and Family. You get friends and family, you get savings. Simple. And by Health Rider, the total body fitness machine. Promotional consideration provided by Apple Computer Incorporated, the world's easiest computer for multimedia. Hewlett Packard, maker of the HP LaserJet 5SI MX, the dream machine for network printing. Two-way communication service provided by Present Communications Las Vegas.